tech companies want to change the way we drive by having cars drive themselves. Supporters say it'll make the roads safer, but testing the driverless technology doesn't come without fender benders. Ben Tracy shows us the new information on test car collisions. More than half a dozen tech companies are now testing their self-driving cars on the open road. But new data show there have been some bumps along the way. The California Department of Motor Vehicles says four out of 48 approved test cars have been involved in accidents in September when the agency started keeping track. According to an Associated Press report, one involved a Delphi automotive test vehicle. The other three involved Google SUVs. Even if it was a fender bender, which is what the company says, it could show more serious problems with the technology that could lead to more serious accidents. Both Delphi and Google say their self-driving cars were not at fault in any of the incidents. In a statement posted online, the director of Google's self-driving car project acknowledged its cars have been involved in 11 minor accidents over six years and 1.7 million miles of testing. He says not once was the self-driving car the cause of the accident. But critics from the group Consumer Watchdog want Google to release the accident reports. We're very concerned about what went wrong and what has the potential to go wrong. And if we don't have the details, we can't really trust this company to share this information and to help us understand the limits of the technology. Safety is a main selling point of driverless technology. My role as a safety driver is first and foremost to keep the car, myself, and everyone around me safe. Advocates say cameras, radar, and laser sensors make self-driving cars better at reacting quickly to their surroundings than most human drivers who can be easily distracted. Over 90% of the collisions on the road are caused by some form of human error, and technology doesn't fail nearly as frequently as uh, humans do. The companies funding driverless cars know that for the idea to eventually take off, safety can not take a back seat to technology. For CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy, Los Angeles.